Can your toothbrush be used to DDoS someone? They got hacked how many times? I'm Allie Diamond, this is ThreatWire, and we're talking about these stories and more. As a company, you would think that if you found out you got hacked twice using the same strategy, you would fix that issue, right? Wrong. The Truth Spy is an Android app that provides tracking and spying capabilities of a phone, part of a class of applications called spyware. I want to start this off with saying that spyware is never okay, but this story makes it even worse. The company behind this app basically has been speed running how many times they can get hacked. In 2022, it came out that the Truth Spy was viable to an IDOR bug or insecure direct object reference, exposing data due to lack of security accessing around enumerable endpoints. Solutions for this kind of bug are pretty easy and basically require no software updates because of their availability to be resolved server side. In December of 2023, hacking groups SiegeSec and BiteMe Crew went after the Truth Spy application using the same tactic. The group shared in their public Telegram channels that they will not be divulging the data they pulled using an IDOR attack due to the highly sensitive nature of the information. Maya Crimeo, author of the original blog post explaining this hack, got exclusive access to the data. She additionally figured out several new ways to infiltrate the Truth Spy and pull out sensitive data. Through her exploration and subdomain scanning, she was able to access employee portals, internal engineering wikis, employee information, marketing tactics, and more. In addition, she found multiple other IDOR vulnerabilities, different from the original one used to expose user data. Maya reached out and worked with TechCrunch to write an expose on the breach and to help expand the TechCrunch spyware lookup tool. If you're worried that you might have spyware on your phone, please go check out this tool to see if you were compromised. As an aside, Maya is a very colorful and straightforward writer. If you want some highly entertaining hacker content, I highly recommend checking out her blog on this amazing expose. Can your toothbrush be used to DDoS someone? No, your toothbrush is not part of a botnet and won't DDoS people. But I do hope someone tries to DDoS someone using a smart refrigerator. As we talked about in a video in 2023, the SEC has put regulations into place that require SEC registered companies to disclose data breaches within four days of becoming aware. Now, after years of speculation, the FCC has finalized and published their rulings around telecommunication company requirements for data breaches. It will require carriers and TRS providers to notify customers of breaches of covered data without unreasonable delay after notification to the commission and law enforcement agencies, and in no case more than 30 days after reasonable determination of a breach, unless a delay is requested by law. The FCC official press release states, the rule goes into effect officially on March 13th, 2024. I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying seeing more regulation come out about disclosing data breaches and making consumers more aware of the misuse of their data. In hacker culture news, DEF CON was actually secretly canceled this year and none of us knew. For those of you who don't know what DEF CON is, it's a four day hacker extravaganza that happens every August in Las Vegas, where we all get together and talk about cool projects, new hacks, and just reveling in the hacker community. I personally describe it as my favorite conference of the year. Just as a heads up, Hack5 is there every year selling products and hanging out, and it's been going on for almost 32 years now. However, it apparently almost didn't happen this year. For the past few years, DEF CON has been happening at Caesars Forum, a large conference hall in the Vegas Strip. They were actually locked into a contract for a certain amount of time to host the event at Caesars, as well as have been having the event at Caesars Properties for the past 25 years. However, according to an article published by the DEF CON team, Caesars abruptly ended the contract without warning. Dark Tangent says, we don't know why Caesars canceled us. They won't say beyond it being a strategy change, and it is not related to anything that DEF CON or our community has done. This kind of no notice cancellation of a contract is unheard of in the conference business. The parting is confusing, but amicable. The team at DEF CON was able to find a new location to house the conference. It's now taking place at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's not on the strip like we are used to, but a shakeup is good and it'll be interesting to see how DEF CON plays out this year. Personally, I'm looking forward to it. And it does seem to be a shared sentiment throughout the community, and I kind of also believe this too, that we think it's because of the MGM hacks that happened last year and the risks of hosting a hacker conference. So this year, if you're attending, please be respectful and don't hack the venue. I apologize for no threat wire last week or the week before. There was a bit of some scheduling errors and if you didn't know, we actually wrote the episode 
uh, live on my Twitch stream and filmed and exported the entire episode. However, some things just didn't work out for the episode two weeks ago. Last week I went to Austin and again, just the writing didn't happen. I apologize, but this week we're back, it's happening. So don't worry, I miss y'all and thought a lot about Threatwire while I was away. I would love to hear your thoughts on the stories I talked about below. Or what is the most ridiculous thing you think you could use to DDoS someone or have heard someone getting DDoSed with? I would love to see someone getting DDoSed with the network of Wi-Fi enable smart fridges, as I said earlier, but Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Allie Diamond, at Ending with Allie everywhere, including Minecraft. Good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.